little quiz. So I'm going to give you a set of behavior and activity, and you tell me if you think they will increase neurogenesis or if they will decrease neurogenesis. My suffering was good for me, for it taught me to pay attention to your decrees. Going through deserts teaches us much more than the comfort of green pastures. How many people have given up on praying, but have now started to pray again? How many have been spiritually lazy, but are now being shaken awake to restore the relationship with God? How many have drifted away, but have come back to God in this crisis? God doesn't always change our situation, but He uses the situation to change us. God is using this time to test the faith of those who serve Him. Many are discovering that they spent their entire lives building their houses on the sand. Now that supernatural faith is needed, they've collapsed after years of not practicing what they were taught. One thing is certain. Whoever builds their lives on the rock will go through storms, yet remain unshaken. For in death there is no remembrance of thee, and the grave who shall give thee thanks, as I bless you at the highest level of your highest ranks. He tear my soul like a lion, render in pieces. While there is none to deliver, let me walk through life's river, cleanse to win. In my father's house, there are many mansions in pure celestial fashion. As you have said, if it were not so, you would have told me so. Thou art my hiding place. You will preserve me from the days of trouble. You will compass me about with songs of deliverance, the true awareness of how to pass through your holy fences. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou should go. Let me see through your lenses of your celestial GoPro. O oh, magnify beyond the earthly wise and stay away from lies. Built on this earth for what it's worth, you've been taught to stay away from life's curse. They have compassed us in our steps. They have set their eyes bowing down to the earth. Now you can see life's true worth. From the highest orbit of earth view, now you can see life's true clues. Blue. Today we are going to talk about nanotechnology. When we say something is nano, we mean it is very small. The size of one nanometer is one billionth of a meter, which is about 100,000 times smaller than the width of a human hair. Making new things at this incredibly small scale is called nanotechnology and it's one of the most exciting and fast moving.
actualization and memorization check. Now, can you move your arms? Upper limb connection checked. Now, say something in German. Ich bin ein AX400 Android dritter Generation. Erschaffen als ihr persönlicher Assistent und den Thema Beziehungspartner. Say it in French. Je suis un Android de troisième génération AX400, conçu pour être votre assistant personnel et votre partenaire intime. Okay, now sing something in Japanese. Make sure that food nanotechnologies do not cause harm to consumers. This is why in the EU, engineered nanomaterials in food require a safety assessment. Their specific properties need to be taken into account when assessing impact on human health and the environment. And this is where EFSA comes in. Over the coming years, nanotechnology will touch the lives of all of us. Like many scientific advances, it brings uncertainty and potential risks. It is up to scientists, business and governments to make it work. heavy upon me my moisture turned into the drought of summer you helped me water it beyond the great wonders now as i slumber i'll be the great wonders of thy celestial thunder bless you most high ancient poet on the trees
Bless the most high, most high.